going to be a lot of body weight. We do have a mat on the floor here. So we will be using that for towards the end of today's session. All right, so I'm going to start my timer here. I'll back up this mat just a little bit so I have some room to move around. What I want to do is get started with a little jog in place, nice and easy. It's going to be about a three minute warm up here. It's a nice little jog for the legs. As for the arms, feel free to swing it out. Swing it out the arms, nice and easy. Got about five more seconds of this, and then we're going to high knees. Three, two, one. And again, getting your knees up. Feel free to add a little hop if you'd like to your steps and bringing your hands towards the knees so you get a little twist in the core as well. About five more seconds. We're gonna continue with the high knees here. Three, two, one, adding a little mountain climber motion here. Feel free to go a little bit faster than me if you're ready for it. I'm gonna change my pace up here, going a little faster now that I know my heart rate is up. Three, two, one, relax. We're gonna do a jumping jack-like motion, but I wanna squeeze my back with this, so here's how it's gonna look. Out and in, out and in, just like that. So with me. Deep breathing here, deep breathing. We got about a minute left here. So let's do our last few with these jacks. Three, two, one, relax. And next up, what I want to do is a toe touch and reach for the ceiling. Feel free to add a little hop. Giving it a few of these. And then I'm going to transition to a walk to a plank. So like this, feel free to join me in that walk to a plank. Just like that. Otherwise, stick with the toe touch. Nearly done here. We got about 25 seconds left before we start the workout. Last one here, we'll do a quick little up motion and go right into your jog in place. So while you're finishing up with that, I'm gonna demonstrate our first round here. So first thing I wanna do is a jab, jab, elbow, elbow. So let's go nice and easy with that, catch our breath and focus on the form with me now. Elbow, elbow, jab, cross, elbow, Elbow. Notice I have one foot in front of the other. One, two, elbow, elbow. And I like to tap my hands right on the shoulder when I do my elbows here. Tap, tap, just like that. One, two, tap, tap. This is just the first set of two for this exercise. So I want to focus on form. One, two, elbow, elbow. One more. One, two, Elbow, elbow. All right, so got a few seconds left before our next exercise. So get some water if you need it. It's gonna be really, really quick. Take water when you need to, remember that. Doesn't have to be when I say it's break time. So next up, we're gonna do elbow, elbow, right to the knee. So here's how I wanna do it. Up and over with the elbow. One elbow at a time, one knee at a time. So get your knees up. Eyes down towards the knee. Act like the knee is your target and you want to hit it with your elbow strike. Now I'm going a little slow here because again, I want to focus on form. We'll go just a little bit faster for this in our second set. Right now it's all about form and breathing. Breathe, breathe, just like that. Exhale, exhale. Just a few more here. Last one. 
All right, going back into a four move combo with the arms. This time, we're not gonna do elbows. We're gonna do some uppercuts. So with the uppercuts, make sure you stay close to your body. We're not reaching far. We're gonna be really, really close to the face. When we do our jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, just like that. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna move back just a little bit here. One, two, three, four. Punch, punch, and add that twist into your core when you do the uppercut. <sighs> twist, twist in the core. One, two, twist, twist. This is, believe it or not, it is a core exercise here <sighs> while moving our arms, <sighs> keeping the heart rate up. <sighs> we got about five seconds here. Do what you can. <sighs> Three, two, one, and relax. All right, next up, this is a bit more dynamic than what we've done so far. Feel free to either step to the side and step to the side, or you can jump with me. When we go in and out, we're gonna hold here for a little jab, jab. In, out, jab, jab, just like that. Ready? Let's go. One, two, punch, punch. One, two, punch, punch. Make sure your feet are just a little bit wider than your shoulders when you're in this half squat position here. One, two. One, two, just like that. Again, we still want a little twist in the core. Twist, twist with the punch. Twist, 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 just like that. We got 15 seconds left. Nearly done here. Keep your back nice and flat, core is tight. Last one, punch, punch. Get a quick sip of water if you can, and again, these are very short breaks. So if you need to take a moment during an exercise to take a sip of water, I encourage you to do so. All right, going into set two, we're gonna do our punch, punch, elbow, elbow. A little bit faster now. One, two, elbow, elbow. Deep breathing here. That's the most important thing when we're adding speed. Breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe. Let's go. One, two, elbow, elbow. Just like that. Elbow, elbow. See if you can go just a little bit faster than last time. Maybe you can go even faster than I am right now. Nearly done. Five seconds here. Let's do one more combo. One, two, elbow, elbow. Woo. All right, going into. Our elbow strikes, like I said, we did our form in the last set. Now we're just gonna pick it up a little bit here, just a little bit. So hands up, and we're gonna do the elbow strike. One, two, one, two. Facing your knees, eyes on your knees. <sighs> Keeping your head down like this during this kind of twist is gonna make it less likely for anyone at home or wherever you are doing this workout to get a little dizzy. So we want to avoid that. Best way to do that is eyes on your target. Don't forget, we're really working the core, so crunch, crunch, crunch. Keep it up. Nearly done here. We got five, four, three, two, one more. Woo! Okay, we're gonna go into our uppercuts next. So, I'm gonna be facing this way again. And a friendly reminder, when we finish our punches, stay close to your face when you do the uppercuts. Don't reach out, stay close. One, two, uppercut, uppercut. One, two, breathe, breathe, just like that. Alternating which arm you use, left, right, left, right, keep it up. Have a little bounce in your knees and your feet when you do this kind of combo. You might see that I'm doing a little bounce myself. Two, two, one, two, three. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. See if you can go a little faster than me. Three, two, one more. Woo! All right. 
Going back into our hops into a squat with a jab, jab. So even faster than last time, it's about 40 to 45 seconds long here. So with me, in, out, punch, 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 punch. Again, if the hops are too much, you can step to the side and side, just like that. Otherwise, stick with the hops. Again, breathing, I can't emphasize this enough. Breathing is key for something like this. So make sure you're breathing. Maybe you have a target at the other end of your row for the punches, eyes on that target, aim for that target every time. Three, two, one, done. All right, that was pretty fast pace, but now we're going into a new round of exercises. So we're gonna take it slow again. So on one leg, we're gonna do a knee and a kick. Same leg here for about 20 seconds, knee and kick. Knee and kick. See how slow I'm going here? Catching my breath, but still moving. That's the thing. Just because we're slowing down, doesn't mean we're taking a break. Just getting our form in. Let's do one more knee, one more kick, and let's switch legs right into it. One, two. Find the pace that works for you, get that form right, and then we'll work on speed in about four minutes for this one. Nearly done, let's do a couple more. Ready? and relax from that. Quick sip of water if you need it. Let's go into a high and low hook. So here's what I mean by that. I'm gonna be on, I like my right leg in front because I'm left-handed, so I'll be here and I'm gonna do a high, high with the hook, low, low. High, high, low, low. Really stick that elbow out here. One, two, stick that elbow out and out, just like that. High, high, low, low. We'll focus on the other leg in the next set. Right now, stay right here. Same leg in front for the next 15 seconds. We're not gonna worry about speed in the next set either. So don't feel like you have to go faster when we switch legs. This is all about form. One, two, down three, four, and done. All right, going into a squat with a back elbow. A little more dynamic, kind of like what we did with our punches here. Here's how it's gonna look. Down, back, other side, back. Back, act like you're trying to elbow someone from behind, like someone's sneaking up on you. Now our legs are pretty warmed up for this kind of exercise. So I want to go fast with the squat and focus on form with the elbows here. Eyes on that elbow, eyes on the elbow. Good turn, good turn. So our strikes will be a little bit faster, a little bit stronger in the next set. Right now, get your form in. Last one. Okay, our last exercise for this round is going to be another high-low hook. So, this time switching legs. And we're gonna do, again, I'm on my left leg here, so I'm gonna start left, right, down, left, right. Taking your time with this one, left, right, down, left, right, up. Keep it up, keep it up. If you feel like you're gonna lose your form on the way down, just stick with staying up. You don't have to go into that lunge. You can just do one, two, staying high. I'm gonna keep going with the low. One, two, down. One, two. We got about 10 seconds here. Keep it up. Let's do one more low. 
come up whoo, and shake those legs out. All right, going into our second set of everything here. So going back into our knee and kick, just a little faster here, the knee and the kick. Just a little bit faster here. So one, two, one, two. Again, a little faster and see if you can kick a little higher than last time. Remember, it's just 20 seconds for this leg here. Then we'll switch. Let's do two more. One and two. Kick, switch your legs right into it. One, two. Again, if you're getting tired and you feel like you need to catch your breath, step to the side, maybe get some water, and then come right back into it once you're ready. Nearly done. Three, two, one more kick. Woo! All right. So I'm going to have my right leg in front, and I'll start with my right hook, then left hook. Again, the low part, if you really have to stay up, you can't do the low, that's okay. Just one, two, and just keep it going with the high. Otherwise, down with me. One, two, alternating. Keeping those hands up in front of your face. Remember, that's the key here. Protect with your hands in front. We're not switching legs here. Ooh, I messed up my form, that's okay. One, two, just hooks, just hooks, remember that. Elbow out, out, elbow out, elbow out, keep it up. Last one here, one, two, and down, one, two. Woo. It's a tough one. Woo. All right, going back into our squat with the back elbow. So like I said, we're gonna stay fast with the legs and we're gonna pick up the pace with the elbow. So one side and other side. Add a little power to this. So three, two, one, let's go down. One, two, one, two, one, two, just like that. Swing that arm back like you really wanna smack someone from behind. We're more than halfway through. Again, this is real dynamic. It's gonna get a lot of energy out of you, so do what you can. We only got 10 seconds here. Three, two, one more, done. Woo. Oh, I definitely need water after that. All right. This is our last exercise before we lie down, start using the mat for all core. So my left leg is in front now. The hook, hook high, hook, hook low. One, two, one, two. Elbows up, hands up. Everything is high here. Your hook, you should have your hook as high as your head. One, two, bring it low. One, two. Again, if it's too much going into that lunge with the hook, just stay high. Just stay high like that. One, two. We got about 10 seconds here. Nearly done and all done. All right. For this one, I'm going to pan down a little bit here. Just a little bit. Bring my back in. And we have a plank exercise coming up. So with this one, plank down right onto your hands. And what I want to do is elbow to knee, elbow to knee. We went pretty fast with our last few exercises. So go nice and easy here. If it's too much off the knee, you can do this on and tap and tap. Otherwise, knees off the floor. Keeping it up just like this. Everything is 45 seconds long, including right now. So we got less than 10 seconds left before we have a seat on our glutes. 
Last one. Woo. All right. Now I like to switch from a plank to something where we can sit down. So next up, we're gonna do some sit with some scissors. So hands on the floor, keeping the feet up if you can, and small kicks like this. If this is too much, rest the heels on the floor, lift up, lift up. Take your time with this one. Otherwise, small motions here, really engaging the front of your core, your abdomen. First song, you can probably grab right underneath the legs, and this really helps with the tension in the legs, but still working the core, so you can keep moving. But if you want something tough, hands stay on the floor. We got seven seconds left. Three, two, one, woo. All right, going back into a plank. And with this one, we're gonna do those back elbows again. This is our first step with this exercise, so go slow, practice your form. So a plank, and we're gonna do a back elbow, one side, back elbow, other side. I'm gonna go very slow with this, so I can practice my form. If you feel like you can go a little faster than me, or if you feel like you need to go slower, that's okay. Work at the pace that works best for you, Focus on form for now, and then we'll do speed later. Again, eyes on that elbow. Nice and slow. Get the motion in. 15 seconds left. Nearly done here. Five seconds. Last one here. Woo! All right. We did a plank, which means we get to rest on the glutes. So this one, we're gonna put in, we're gonna do two exercises together. So we'll do a crunch with some punches. When we come down, we'll do a little knee tuck. Rest on the heels on the floor, come back up, punch, punch, down, knee tuck. Punch, punch, down, do not switch into the other exercise until your heels and your head are both on the floor. So for this set and the next one, it's all about form. It's not about speed. Do what you can, a little tuck, and up, punch, punch. Just a few more seconds. Last crunch here, last one, up, punch, punch, relax, all right. I'm gonna get one more sip of water before we do our next plank. So we're gonna go back into our first plank. Elbow to knee here, elbow to knee. All right, hands on the mat if you have it. And then elbow to opposite knee here. Now this is our last set for this final round before we go into our cool down. Last time with this plank exercise here. Twenty seconds left. Keeping the hips low. Keep your eyes on your mat or the floor. More specifically, right between your hands. Three, two, last one. Done. That's a tough one. <laughs> All right. Leaning back here. We're not going to do the crunch and knee tuck. We're going to do our scissor kicks here. So, hands on the floor, or if you need that support, hands under the legs. Small kicks here. Try to straighten out your legs as much as you can here. I'm not the most flexible person, so I do have a slight bend in my knee, but that's okay. The idea is not about flexibility right now. It's all in the core. We're about halfway through. I'm gonna do what I can to keep my hands on the floor, away from my legs. About 15 seconds left. Again, small kicks here. And you can do this with your feet on the floor. I know I put my feet on the floor. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh, man. 
man, do I feel that in the core. All right, back into our final plank for today with those back elbows. Going just a tiny bit faster here. I'm not looking for the best, fastest speed you can give me, just a little faster than last time. So plank, right into it. Make sure your hips are low. Make sure you're not getting too dizzy. If you are getting dizzy, you need to slow down. Focus on form. Again, eyes on the elbow that's striking behind. Good strike here. We got 15 seconds left. 15, not even. All in the core, hands directly under the shoulders in plank. Nearly done. Let's do two more. One more. Done. Woo. And our final exercise for today before our two minute cool down. So let's do the punch first and then we'll rest our head on the floor for the knee tuck. So punch, punch down. Remember, this is not about speed, it's form, it's all form. You don't have to go fast with this one. Come up, punch, punch, back down. Little reminder, both your head and your heels should be on the floor before going from one to the next for the core. We got less than 20 seconds for this final exercise. Let's go. Finish strong. Less than 10, less than 10, come on now. Come up, last punch here. Lie down and relax. Woo! Lying down here, deep breaths. Make your stomach nice and big as you inhale and exhale. All right, with that, one hand over the other. Bring the arms over, arms straight, legs straight. Straight as an arrow and stretch yourself out all, all over. Stretch it out. Deep breaths here. Act like you wanna be six inches taller. And let's bring the arms up. Sitting up, reaching for our legs here. So we have about a minute and a half left for this cool down. I understand if you need to go now, that's fine. But I do encourage everyone who wants to leave early to simply stretch throughout your day. So let's go into one knee here. One knee in front, bringing the hips forward for a good little stretch in the hip flexors. Not gonna last too long. Three, two, one, switching legs, coming forward. And a good stretch right here at the back leg. And three, two, one, let's say on the knees. And I want to raise my arms up and lean to one side, really stretching out your lats here. Deep breath here. One more big one. Good. Let's switch to the other side. Again, really good stretch right about here in the mid part of your torso on the side. Three, two, one. Let's bring our arms down and back behind our, our body. Interlace the fingers, straighten out the arms. Looking straight ahead, chest out. See if you can rise your arms up a little bit. Holding for three, two, one. And for the last one, I'm gonna come a little bit closer. About 10 seconds for the forearm. So palm out in front. Really good stretch right here for five, four, three, two, one. Switching arms. And again, stretching right here. Good little tug in the fingers here. Four, three, two, release. Relax the arms. Take a few deep breaths. Everyone, thank you for staying with me for the whole half hour. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments for me, feel free to leave them in the chat. I'll be on a little longer to answer anything you might have for me. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day. Again, thank you for joining me.
and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.